Okay, did we just effectively solo that with a cutie fly? I think that just happened. Yes, I will care for you. You deserve that. <laughs> this cutie fly is out for blood. Hey guys, Party here in that episode of Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we went through Route 3, fought all the trainers, and fought that red card user, along with finding Lily as Professor Kukui lost her, and battling Hao just before we take on Hollow in this episode. And speaking of this episode, in between episodes, a lot has happened. First, let's look at the team. We have Barry, the cutie fly, at level 18, with Absorb, Draining Kiss, Stun Spore, and Silver Wind. Slicicle, the Sand Shrew, at 17, with Brick Break, Ice Ball, Rapid Spin, and Metal Claw. Um, the Normalian Z. And Toracat at 20, with Fire Fang, Ember, Work Up, and Lick. I taught it Work Up because it's basically the same as. Um, as Leer, Leer lowering their defense, work up raising my attack, but it also raises my special attack, so it'll help out Ember too. Um, and you'll notice if I hit save, I have 39 Pokemon in the Pokedex, and about 11 and a half hours of playtime. It was around 5 hours of playtime last time. I basically went around the island and caught everything I could. Aside from a Bagon on Route 3, because it's a 1% encounter rate, there's also, through the, SS, the SOS battling system, there's a way to encounter a level 9 Salamence, because Bagon can just call a Salamence. But I caught everything. Um, the Abra was a pain in the butt, as was the Grubbin, because it wouldn't appear. This is a modest Abra. A modest synchronized Abra. So not only do I have a modest Alakazam, and I know how to get the Alakazite in this game, if I want anything with a modest nature, I can have it. <laughs> That's amazing. But I have grown so attached to this cutie fly because I used it to battle basically everything as I was catching stuff. Th that experience isn't from me grinding by any means. It was purely from uh, just catching things and then killing a couple of encounters uh, because I just wanted to. I wanted to see how much damage I could do. <laughs> but this cutie fly is out for blood and is ready to wreck Hollow's team. I'm looking forward to seeing you, that what moves you and your Pokemon will pour, in, pour your soul into now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Brendan. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. Yeah. The Melee Melee Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest, yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves, or a fairy. Oh, and speaking of this game, you should probably meet up with the Kahuna Hala. I guess he's around Iki Town somewhere. He's right there, Rotom. I bought the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. They said they didn't have them on the day of release so they said they'd have them like a week later and it's a week later so <laughs> I bought it and it's actually really useful I bet Cerebi has like Cerebi, Bulbapedia all those websites probably have the same information but I, I like the structure of it congratulations on clearing your trial in Verdant Cavern good work I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna you think you and cutie fly are ready for me Brendan Definitely. This cutie flies out for blood. It will destroy you. I have been waiting for this. 
Now I know I'm a little over leveled, but that's not really my fault. It's just because I was going to catch things. And given how the experience gain works in this game, oh, I've been expecting you. I, most likely the game will catch up with me because the next trial is like level 20. So it's fair. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Brendan, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me you and your partner Cutiefly and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Okay then, Hala, calm down. Yeah. My original prediction with his team is I thought he was going to be like an electric user because he's the Kahuna of Melee Melee and Tapu Koko's primary typing is electric. So I thought the Kahuna's typings were gonna be based on the Tapu's. But I guess not. I guess it wouldn't really make sense. So can this destroy it? It's destroyed a level 12 Mankey. Nope, not quite. I'm okay with this. Does that work for the team or just the Mankey? Please be just the Mankey. Cause Please be just the Mankey. If I can't take out a Mankey, I'm kind of scared. Um, and it gets boosted experience now because of Pokemon Refresh. Level 14. Just draining, kiss it. Oh, great. Great. Thanks for that, Makihita. And... Half. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Sand attack. Good. What I wanted. I wish I had a way to fix that. I could just switch out, but then I'd have to... What? How are you alive? Well, that's just not fair. Wow. Barry don't care about your accuracy drops. <laughs> Crab Brawler, this is the dangerous one. <laughs> this is the one with the Z move. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Okay. Well then. Nope. I didn't want to say anything. Because I knew it was going to happen at least once. Yes! Okay, did we just effectively solo that with a cutie fly? I think that just happened. Yes, I will care for you. You deserve that. <laughs> this cutie fly is out for blood. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how it only gets one spot on it because it's too tiny for anything else. Uh, I only have a few beans. Ooh. Hmm. The results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer, what fine Pokemon, too. Tapu go 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 Oh, and your mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm, <laughs> perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Oh, I wonder when that'll happen. Except this Z Crystal. It allows trainers to share the power of their partner Pokemon. Use that actually.
Observe, Brenner. If you wish to use the fighting type Z power, move your arms like this, and bend your hips like this and pose. Now then, Brendan, with this victory, you have cleared all of the islands of Mele Mele. Nope, not uh, islands. You have cleared all of the trials of Mele Mele Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Mele Mele stamp is proof for your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you receive in trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now, to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Top Coco again someday. <laughs> that is very true. More. More. Whoa, that Tauros. I've got an idea. How about you set? How about I set you up so you can ride this Taurus whenever you'd like? No reason why we shouldn't be able to enjoy the Island Challenge too. More. I'll take care of the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon, Brendan. Ride Pager, yeah. I know what I'm immediately doing with this thing. Why don't you hop on there? And boobity boop. Or not yet. And the bibbidi boop. We're on the Tauros. <laughs> the world looks a bit different from atop a mighty Tauros, eh? See, Brandon? Here in Alola, Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride on, ride about on them. Let me explain some the gear I gave you. Your ride pager is a tool that lets you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only press the Y button to turn on your ride pager. Use the B button to dash. And riding wear will be a special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. Can I go? Congratulations, Brendan. I hope you find your ride pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z-Power. Let's have a Pokemon battle whenever you, we next... Whenever... Pokemon battle when next we meet. Very well, then. Off on your island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. Okay. Alright, Brendan. With a little help from Tauros, you can smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Alright, I got a little something for you. Alright, I got a little something for you too. Oof, I'll swipe. That is useful. Considering all those Pokemon I'm trying to catch. Fall swipe is a move that will leave your opponent with 1 HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon yet and tell Rotom about it. But first, you gotta let your mom know what you're up to. When you're done with that, head on down to the Marina, Holy City, oh yeah. Alright, time to get the boat ready. Lily, you gonna help me clean it? <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with that job. Um, I actually wanted to ask you a favor a favor of you first, Brennan, if that's alright. Sure. You see, Nebbia's thrill home is far away from here. I wanna help it get home. It's like I told you before, maybe you saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I wanna save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own. Since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but if I had a real trainer like you helping me, Brendan, then maybe. But I. Oops, I just muted the game. Probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help me, right? I know it's just my own wish and it wasn't nothing to do with you. Of course I'll help. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really don't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will be heading to the next island as well. I love doing that voice. You done telling your mom to uh, offer your adventure? Then it's time to head to the marina next. No. And also, I know that you can register this to a D-pad button. I'll just put that on down. And off we go. Because I have one place in particular that I want to head to. Yes, I can break these rocks in here. 
and these rocks were preventing me from getting the single encounter that I wanted on this route, which is Bonsley. But I can come back and get that later. What I really want is down at 10 Carat Hill. And if I just hop right over to... Okay. <laughs> I hop right over to these rocks. Ratata. Nice. Um, I actually initially traded one for Moon because my first thought was, oh, Verdant Cavern has only Rattata and like Zubat and Moon, so I'll just get it from there. But it, I forgot that it wasn't version exclusive and I can just find it at night. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you're a strong trainer, all right. Go on, take on Tinker, oh, friend. Does this place look familiar? Ooh, X stack. I need to specifically get to the back. Because that's where the good stuff is. I already caught you. I don't need you. Level 19, jeez. Oh my god. Barry's had his fun, so might as well just switch him out for good old Slicicle here. Uh, cause Slicicle needs some use. Boom, boom. Get that item later. I just want to get to the outside area. This is annoying. Can I buy a pose yet? Can I? And I would attack it because it's a rock type. Well, yeah, because it's a rock type. But I have ice and fighting moves, and it's also fairy, so fighting isn't really going to help me. Ooh, hardstone. That's helpful for the thing I'm about to catch. Ooh, a nugget. That's just free money. Grass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. You're not it. Get out of my face, sir. Actually, I still need, I still need my cutie fly, because I'm trying to catch something, and Slicicle will basically kill anything in one hit. Come on, no. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to. I'm just gonna say it. I'm trying to find a rock rough. Give me a rock rough. That is a spinda. That is not a rock rough. Come on, game. Give me this rock rough. Even though Absorb is base 20, if I'm like 9 levels above something and it's technically super effective, how much damage will that do to it? I could test it on this Rog and Rolla. How much will this do to you? Okay, I'm okay with that damage. Nope. 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 Let me leave, please. Okay. Rock rough. Rock rough. 
rock rough. That's a machop. Isn't rock rough like a 10% chance in this area? Let's check. could search Sarabi, but might as well make some use out of this strategy guide. Burning Cavern, Route 3, and here's where Kukui gets a rock rough. Can I have one? Holy shopping mall. Seaward Cave, Ka Kalai Bay, that's a Machop, this just has like a circle, what is, I mean, it has the same symbol as Carbank and Machop, so I would assume that means it's just as easily encountered. So give me Rockruff already. Give me this dog. Ten. How do you spell this place? How do you, how do you spell this place? Okay, English. Ten carat hill. I'm gonna keep pressing Y and going to the menu. I'm never gonna get out of that habit. Oh yeah, you can find Necrozma out here. I forgot about that. I think it's after you catch all the Ultra Beasts. Because it's level 75. It better be after you catch all the Ultra Beasts. 20% chance. Just as much as Carbank and Raganrola. Come on. And I've even found a fin- Found a fin- <laughs> No, I found a Spinda. I should be able to find this Rockruff. I will do this. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I just gonna have to do this off screen? Like, is it that hard? I found one so easily before. The moon. The heck. So. Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon. Yeah. They don't... Encounters don't vary based on day and night. Yeah. Oh! Whoa. Hello. I kind of wanted a female. Because I had a good name for it, but... I still have a name for you that should work. Oh, great. It's a really generic and ironic name, but it doesn't mean what you would think it means. I probably don't want to absorb it. It is level 13. It's higher level than the Raganroa. But I'm gonna see what a Pokeball can do. It's paralyzed. Come on. Yes. Aww. So close. So close. Great ball. My first great ball Pokemon on the team? Oh, that was... Wow.
Barry. If there was ever a time for you to not be good, it is now. Good job, Barry. Good, good job sucking. Mmm, sure. Jeez, that's close. You know what? While I can still Pokeball things, I might as well do so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Rock Rough. Eh, you've got enough care. And I found out that rainbow beans that you get from the Poke Pelago, um, I'm pretty sure they guarantee two stages of affection, and I'm, I know my starter's at three already, so that would get him to full. Along with Cutie Fly, I'm pretty sure is also at three. So, it's considered to be a good Pokemon for beginners because of its friendliness, but its disposition grows rather rougher as it grows up. Would you like to give Rock, Rock, Rock Ruff a nickname? Yes. And I will name it, ironically, Rocky. That is, that is not just because it's a rock type and rock is in its name. My sister's beagle is named Rocky. And so I thought it was just convenient. My female name for it would have been Bridget. And that's why I would have wanted a, um, a female, because I liked that dog better. Oh, modest. You know? You know, I might just look for a female. <laughs> you know? You kind of suck. At first I saw that and thought it was adamant. Let's get down to where we need to. Can I get out of here without encountering a lot of things? Or not. I have a paralyzed level 13 Pokemon in, my, in the lead. I'm not running. I am not ever running. Oh look, I ran. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Go. Modest nature. It's, it's kind of bad, but I don't know. Your stats shouldn't drop too terribly. Like I have a timid nature decidui in Moon, and it's not terrible. But like. At least that helps it with its speed. You don't really get many special moves to begin with. Hidden power is all I can think of. Because everything gets that. Okay, I thought that meant I wasn't going to be able to leave. You get no special moves by level up. Okay. Hidden power, yeah. Round echoed voice and snow. I am running into a wall. Um, okay. So, where do I need to go? Do I need to go home or? I No, I don't. I just need to go to the marina, right? My god. Um, there, there's no point in me just running and doing this, so I might as well, I'm, I'm just trying to get out of this grass anyway. No, 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 <laughs> dang it. I'm going, I'm trying to end this. I'm trying to end this episode. It's very hard though. It's very hard to do so. I'm glad I have this rock rough. If I have the time, I'm going to maybe try to look for another one. 
because I'm not too attached to it yet, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, the, the marker is the marina, right? Yep. So, with that we have gotten, we, we have a new team member being Rocky the Rock Ruff, and we beat Hollis, so next episode we're going to explore the next island. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not right, and I'll see you all later. Bye.